Adolf Hitler's childhood was marked by both personal struggles and early signs of the ideological beliefs that would later shape his worldview. Born on April 20th, 1889, in the small town of Braunau am Inn, Austria-Hungary, Hitler was the fourth of six children born to Alois Hitler and Clara Pölzl. His early years were characterized by a mixture of discipline, family tension, and isolation. Family Dynamics Hitler's father, Alois, was a stern and authoritarian figure. Alois worked as a customs official, and his personality was known to be strict and controlling. He had high expectations for his children, and his frequent clashes with young Adolf over education and career choices deeply affected Hitler. Alois wanted his son to follow in his footsteps and pursue a career in the civil service, which Adolf strongly resisted. The rigid and often harsh discipline from his father created a strained relationship between the two. Clara, on the other hand, was a devoted and caring mother. She doted on Adolf and provided him with the affection he lacked from his father. This maternal relationship would prove to be the most important emotional connection in Hitler's early life. Clara's loving nature contrasted sharply with Alois's discipline. And when she died of breast cancer in 1907, it had a profound effect on Hitler, who was devastated by the loss. Early schooling. As a child, Hitler was intelligent, but also known to be lazy and rebellious, especially when it came to school. In primary school, he was a good student and showed a particular interest in art. However, when he transitioned to secondary school in Linz, his performance began to decline. The root of much of the tension in his youth was his desire to become an artist, which conflicted with his father's wishes for him to join the civil service. The conflict over his future career combined with the authoritarian style of education in Austria at the time, caused Hitler to lose interest in his studies. He failed several subjects and eventually dropped out of school in 1905 without completing his formal education. This failure marked a turning point in his life, deepening his frustration and contributing to a sense of personal failure and bitterness. Aspirations of Becoming an Artist From a young age, Hitler was passionate about painting and drawing. He dreamed of becoming a successful artist, and in 1907, after his mother's death, he moved to Vienna to pursue this ambition. He applied twice to the Academy of Fine Arts Vienna, but was rejected both times, largely due to his lack of formal training and inadequate artistic skills in drawing human figures. These rejections crushed Hitler's dreams of becoming an artist, leaving him dejected and struggling with his identity. It also further exacerbated his personal grievances and began to fuel his broader resentment toward the world. During this time, Hitler lived in poverty, surviving off his small inheritance selling paintings and postcards, and staying in homeless shelters. His time in Vienna was a formative period in which he began to develop many of the extreme ideological beliefs that would later define his politics, particularly his intense anti-Semitism. Influences in Vienna Although Hitler failed to achieve his artistic aspirations in Vienna, the city had a profound influence on his ideological development. 
Vienna at the time was a hotbed of nationalist and racist ideas, and it was here that Hitler was exposed to anti-Semitic and ultra-nationalist rhetoric, which would play a central role in shaping his worldview. While living in Vienna, Hitler absorbed the ideas of pan-German nationalism, which advocated for the unification of all German-speaking peoples, as well as racist theories that placed blame for Austria's political and economic problems on Jews, communists, and other minorities. These ideas, coupled with his personal frustrations, formed the foundation of the extreme beliefs that would later emerge fully in his political career. Hitler's personality in childhood. Accounts of Hitler's childhood describe a boy who was often introverted and solitary. He had few close friends and spent much of his time reading or indulging in his artistic interests. He admired the German operas of Richard Wagner which often glorified the heroic national lost themes and he developed a strong sense of pride in his Germanic identity, despite being Austrian. His isolation and growing bitterness towards authority, coupled with the failure to achieve his dreams of becoming an artist, contributed to a deepening sense of personal failure. This personal struggle combined with the broader political and social turmoil he experienced in Vienna would fuel his radicalization in later years. Summary Adolf Hitler's childhood was shaped by family tension, particularly with his authoritarian father and an inability to fulfill his artistic ambitions. The early death of his mother and his rejection from art school deeply affected him, creating personal frustrations that were compounded by the nationalist and anti-Semitic ideologies he encountered during his years in Vienna. These formative experiences laid the groundwork for the extreme beliefs and sense of mission that would drive him to pursue political power and lead Nazi Germany into one of the darkest chapters in history. Thank you for watching the video, The Childhood of Adolf Hitler, provided by History and Current Events. This is Lily and Gina, Sarah, Bill, Brian and Tony have also contributed so far as narrators. Thank you.